What up, Internet? It is your boy once again, Rhino Rider. I um, want to do a little something. I've been wanting to do these for a while. Um, I got such a uh, good positive response from me posting the different audio commentaries uh, for the feature film I did, Evidence, that uh, I'm going to record um, an audio uh, commentary for each one of the short films, the apocalypse short films that I have. They're on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can search for them and find them. I just want to... Uh, uh, a lot of people enjoyed the insight and to how things were made. The first one I'm doing is only three and a half minutes, so it won't be that long, but uh, here we go. This one is for Apocalypse the Hooker. So let me do a, a, a prequel for those of you who don't know. Um, I wrote a screenplay called Apocalypse. It was the first screenplay I wrote after I did Evidence. Um, it, it's kind of my um, hit single. Um, I wrote it in four days. Uh, no shit, four days. And um, although have gone through different drafts of it, the beats haven't changed. Um, so I kind of uh, assimilate that to a band who, you know, walks in the studio and five minutes uh, produces a, a hit record. Check out Black Sabbath Paranoid. Um, and so uh, I'm now turning that screenplay into a graphic novel, which is uh, uh, picking up momentum now in terms of uh, should be finished in the next couple months. Super excited. The artwork is absolutely amazing and tremendous. Um, it's taken over a year, almost a year and a half, to, uh, to get it done, but that's okay. Um, and so when uh, Josh and I first came together to form our uh, production company, we wanted to do short films to practice our craft and, uh, and things like of that nature. And I didn't want to just come up with um, random short films that uh, had no backstory or no meaning and just like w were well written or whatever. Uh, I wanted to put them in a world that I had already created. So I decided to um, uh, do prequel stories for each one of the characters of my screenplay slash graphic novel um, to work on the craft, uh, you know, do that kind of stuff, but also um, when it finally all comes out, something for the fans that they can go back and reference and, um, and see uh, before things come out. So, anyway, um, here we go. I'm now going to shrink myself down to a little box in the corner and hit play, and here we go. Uh, this is the first one we did. The budget for this was nothing. Um, we had... I haven't hit play yet. <laughs> we had... Uh, it was like four people, I think, there. Um, cast included. And you get to see my acting chops in here. I can play angry very well. Okay, now we'll shrink it. Here we go. <clears throat> so I uh, opened with that shot. We found these two, those two chairs were actually up there. This was shot in Topanga Canyon, not very far from my house. Um, those two chairs were there. I was inspired and, and went and um, threw those clothes on to show that it's the rapture, you know, uh, couple was up there. That's Abigail Ritchie, plays the hooker. Um, this is actually like the third iteration of uh, this story or concept that um, I had done. This is obviously once we got the good looking gear and, um, you know, we shot it uh, in Magic Hour. We literally only had like about 20, 25 minutes to film it. We went very um, uh, Inaratu uh, in terms of uh, f for the rapture. Uh, that's me. Uh, the coat that she is wearing um, I found at this uh, local store in Topanga and it just spoke to me and so I had to buy it and I, that's kind of the hooker's calling card, that character's calling card. Um, uh, I 
I, watching this back, I, I I hope people aren't confused by my character screaming out Amy, Amy, as if the hooker is Amy. She's literally just, uh, you know, the, I had my own backstory of this character and, um, and he had, you know, seen in the rapture, when the rapture happened, he got left behind and his wife and child uh, did not. And so he's kind of in a crazed daze now, um, going for it, or, you know, looking for it. That's why he uh, shoots himself. And all the hooker is doing is just observing. She doesn't give a fuck about uh, this guy or what he has. She sees it as, oh, there's a gun. Oh, there's bullets. And then after he shoots himself, right here. Funny note, also I forgot to bring like fake blood and stuff like that that day and so that's why there is no blood and I didn't want to do CG uh, blood. I just, I'm not a fan of it. I like things practical. Um, so now the hooker comes up and she, uh, you know, cautious, make sure he's dead. But then I love it that she searches his pockets and finds a pack of cigarettes and is like, fuck yeah, I like to smoke, I like cigarettes, this is great. Um, yeah, and then she takes his gun, checks the chamber, I love that little smile Abby does at the end, and then uh, she continues on. So, um, again, super short, but... Uh, we actually wanted to do, uh, we had a plan for, like, we actually filmed this, like, wide, uh, scaping, you know, uh, pan of the city of L.A., and, uh, we were gonna add a bunch of, like, CG fires and stuff like that. Um, it just, it just wasn't gonna happen. We just, you know, we tried a couple times, but, um, yeah, it wasn't there. So, anyway, um, music, bensound.com. Um, I've used a few of his stuff. Uh, that is it. So now I'll make myself big. Wait. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening if you're hearing this. Um, I'm going to do uh, more commentaries on the other short films. Again, just wanting to um, provide insight, uh, value, anything I can. Uh, to those of you that are uh, aspiring storytellers, filmmakers, creatives, all the above. Um, that's it. Rent Rider out. Peace!